for this. Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's episode is part two of me going from San Diego to, I guess, well, Santa Barbara, but then all the way to the Bay Area. Today's video picks up where this video left off, so if you haven't watched that one already, go do that. It doesn't really matter. You can watch whatever you want to watch. Anyways, in today's video, I get woken up first thing in the morning by something threatening the safety and security of my solar panels. I also go to one of my favorite places in Santa Barbara, and something prevents me from getting Starbucks. There's a lot packed into this episode, so let's jump right in. and I already have some spaghetti sauce. I just like to use this balsamic glaze as a dressing. These organic veggie bites. I was gonna get tater tots, but these are already like veggie tots. With that, I have the vegan tzatziki and I have some falafel mix that I can make and dip that in. And then this one I'm not sure about, but it's organic creamy cashew fiesta dip. So it's a cheese dip. So I can maybe make like a taco salad with some black beans and corn and stuff. And then the lavash bread, 110 calories for half of the lavash. If you cut it in half, this is 110 calories. And then you just use it like as a wrap. I can make a little falafel wrap, put these in the wrap. Tonight, I'm not really that hungry, but I'm thinking that these avocados are almost dead. So I might just make some avocado toast. Before we get to that toast, let's make a toast to the snack pack. What? You're not part of the snack pack already? All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, throw a like on it, and keep watching to the end to see if I make it to the Bay Area. avocado but I don't think I'm gonna die if I eat a little brown spot everything by bagel seasoning and sprinkle that on I have these colorful petite snacking tomatoes and I'm gonna put a couple of these on there all right this was fairly quick and easy let's see how it tastes where you gonna go light little dinner hmm. I like that then I'll drink some more water, read my Bible, and I guess I am still a little bit tired, so hopefully I'll just be able to fall asleep at like 9.30 or 10. Okay, it's around 9 o'clock, and I just found my parking spot. It's in a residential neighborhood and kind of near to Trader Joe's. I'm not parked directly in front of somebody's house. It's too early to wake up, but I parked under a tree. <clears throat> And whatever's in that tree keeps falling on to my roof. It sounds like acorns or some something, something hard. And I'm afraid it's going to crack my solar or my fan cover. So I got to get up and go drive and park somewhere else. I don't know what time it is, but it's too early to get up. This is God's way of telling me it's time to get up, even though my body's like, no. When your vehicle has glass panels, it's another thing you gotta think about. 
Okay, so I moved to a non-tree space, laid down for a little bit, did my stretches, read my Bible, recorded a little bit of another video, and now it's 10 o'clock. I haven't even had any coffee, but today I'm not getting coffee. I know, shocker. I'm going to a place here in Santa Barbara that I love. I think it was back in like 2012, I was going through a rough patch in my life and I was going up to a silent retreat in Big Sur and I stopped in Santa Barbara because I just wanted a coffee. So I found this place called Vices and Spices and it was so cute and awesome. They have a gift shop with all these cute little things. They have a little place where you can buy muffins and pastries and they have a whole wall of awesome spices and the best part of all is that they have a little coffee bar now usually i get a coffee but that day i saw that they had chai tea and i was like you know what let me try it and it was like the best thing ever so now every time i pass by santa barbara i always have to stop at this place and get a chai okay the funny thing i just found out <laughs> all this time i'm like they have the best chai latte and apparently they use a concentrate for their chai latte which maybe that's why it's so good <laughs> but it's so delicious. And then she used oat milk, which I wasn't sure about in a chai latte, but it's so delicious. I love the flavor. I do like a good chai latte. So I got an ounce and she said to brew this in an infuser or whatever for like five to seven minutes, which I don't have one of those. So I'll probably have to get like a little, brew it for five to seven minutes. And then you can add your sweetness and your milk and stuff. She said, make sure to add the stuff afterwards. Now I'm gonna find Another beach, go park, and I gotta get to work and edit some videos. So I just came to Galera, Galera State Park and it's so nice. There's a decent amount of parking here. You have to leave at sunset, but it's so nice. I drove another hour and a half last night and made it to San Luis Obispo. I had a good night's sleep, but a tilty night's sleep because the street that I'm on, let's see, it kind of tilts like this. This area, I drove around for a little bit last night and the streets are all like up and down and stuff. I just did my stretches and before I get into my Bible time, I'm gonna get off the street and probably go find a Starbucks because I don't have any oat milk or any creamer, so I can't really make, I mean, I can make coffee in here, but I'm not gonna drink black coffee, that's upsetting. I need to go find a store to get some oat milk, but I might as well just get a Starbucks, go find a Target or a store, and then I'm gonna get on the road. I don't know how long I have, like three and a half more hours, or I don't really know. I can tell you what, this driving area smells so good because of this spice packet. Oh, it's so, chai tea spice smelling girl you better calm down getting so close one of my favorite smells since i'm dressed on a tangent what's my shirt you're doing you can't park here bro i gotta i'm leaving cardamom is and cinnamon <sighs> what's this guy doing okay let me look up some directions got a cute little downtown area San Luis Obispo. Oh, I'm turning here. Okay. Look at this cutest little town. It's a permit parking. Where is the Starbucks? It says Starbucks. I don't see Starbucks. 
order to get to this Starbucks, I have to walk back that way. And there's a guy sitting on the bench that is maybe not well. He saw me drive by and he was staring at the van. And now he is looking towards my van and saying, come out, come out. And he's got a sign ready, so I don't know about that. Feels pretty uncomfortable. Oh, there goes a girl walking by. Oh, he stopped the girl. Oh no, he's looking. He's looking ominous. Plus this is metered parking. I'm not trying to pay for parking. I'm gonna go to Target and go get some stuff. get a weird what I go grocery shopping at Trader Joe's <laughs> where there's so many people walking around I get woken up first thing in the morning by something I don't know <laughs> loud vehicles <laughs> exactly there's more beautiful things to see and wonderful food and keep watching to the end to make sure that 